That's it for choosing tools. You should feel comfortable sourcing and evaluating tools that suit your budget, your organizational needs, and your personal preferences. I hope you took the opportunity to talk with other students, alums, and instructors about their own tool preferences and recording processes. After all, why reinvent the wheel? Now it's time to revise your instructional design plan to include the tools you've chosen. Your first assignment is to determine how multimedia resources fit into your instructional design plan. Revisit step five of your plan and consider if you've got your content chunked appropriately, whether the formats you've chosen are appropriate to your learning objectives, and whether you've provided additional formats for accessibility. Your second assignment is to determine which tools and services will help you follow your instructional design plan. Revisit step six and consider additional tools and formats for creating multimedia content and a plan for how to store them. You can always revisit the sample instructional design plans from alumni in the foundation module. Make any changes you think will make a stronger product for your learners and share the revised plan in the forum for this week. See you in week four. This program has been a collaboration between the South Central Regional Library Council, the Empire State Library Network, and the School of Information Studies at Syracuse University. It was made possible thanks to a grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services.